So I'm here at the AI Summit today, and it's just been a fantastic day already. There are so many key companies here. So the usual suspects, you've got IBM, Google, you're talking about their product. You've also got some really cool new startups and people helping to bring them up from the fore. Some really, really good ideas. In terms of key trends, people are talking about regulation. People want to know what's happening in the UK, you know, where we don't have one law, we're going to try and get the regulators to decide what to do with guidance. There's been chat about the EU AI Act. And just from day-to-day -day conversation, I'm hearing people talk about the Californian AI Act that's been proposed with some sort of kill switch for AI. So many different things happening in this space. I really enjoyed the startup world today, hearing how people are problem solving and really just throwing their efforts into fixing one problem, which is a good lesson for me, you know, try and fix one thing, don't try and fix everything. Certainly with AI, some people want to do everything all at once and try and find all the use cases and start to deploy, deploy. But what I've heard today is sort of pick one use case and really get it right. And that's a good lesson for me. So we did a bit of research around what challenges our customers are facing and you know, produced a report, our retail AI report on it as one example. And what we're hearing is that customers just don't know where to start. You know, our clients are thinking, do we go in deep? Do we do something really complicated? Or do we just dabble in something really simple and see if it works for us? And our clients are probably more of the latter. You know, we, we're just going to experiment. We're not too sure help us work out our use cases and our strategy, and we can do that together. And we've come up with the AI Navigator tool that does that for clients. It helps them work out where they are on that maturity journey. Are they early stages? Not sure how to approach it in terms of a big complex task. How can they break that down? Versus the more advanced clients that are really experienced and know what they're doing, and might just want some help with monitoring the regulatory landscape or doing something a bit more complicated, like sentiment analysis. So TLT advises across all stages of the AI product lifecycle. From the very beginning, where people are working out their use cases and their strategy, all the way up until they work out their monitoring and their maintenance position for the future. We advise clients across all ranges as well and cross sector. So regulators, large companies, SMEs and startups, which gives us real insight into how to manage that full product lifecycle start to finish. So the future for legal AI is already here. We're seeing AI being deployed in litigation really frequently for things like disclosure. Um, but I think we're going to see it move into things like document management more regularly, as well as calendar management, and possibly even moving towards basic document NDA drafting, which, to be honest, TLT already does. We have a number of products that we've been working on for quite a few years, some as far back as 2017 that incorporate AI. And what we do as a firm is talk to our clients about where their gaps are on their AI journey and where they could employ, deploy tech like ours into their teams to help make like, things more efficient.